Hello everyone, it's Citizen Mix here. Welcome to a brand new video. With the release of Growing Together, the latest expansion pack for this one 4, I've been playing a lot more in my spare time. And all this playing made me think about the game as a whole and the online community, making me wonder what is the reason why this almost 10 year old game is still so current today, still well loved and played by many. The Sims were actually reached 36 million active players in 2021 and surpassed 1 billion dollars in total income, meaning it's still one of the main titles for EA since its launch in 2014. But 9 years after its release, what are the reasons a new player might want to dip their toes in the Sims 4 and its community. I decided to compile a list of reasons why you should start playing The Sims 4 in 2023. So if you still haven't opened up this instant classic, sit back and relax. Let's jump right into it. The base game is completely free. As of the last few months of 2022, The Sims 4 base game has been released as completely free to play for everyone on all the online platforms that it is sold on. With this change, anyone can download and play the game. While there's plenty of DLCs that you might or might not want to purchase, and many of them will change the way you play your game drastically, the base game is still pretty fun and fully updated. You can already start creating your Sims and houses without breaking the bank. And if you do want to buy some of the countless packs for the game, you'll at least feel less guilty when buying one since you didn't have to spend 40 bucks for the game first. The online community is big and diverse. The online sims community is one of the biggest and most diverse gaming communities online. On most main social media platforms you'll find thousands of players, hours and hours of content and a lot of help to start playing. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and TikTok all have thriving communities of players and there's just a lot that can interest you. Vanilla players, players with mods, custom content, content creation, videos, music, outfits, there's plenty to discover and learn. And while the Sims community has some glaring issues, most people are a great help for new players to learn how to play, sharing tips and tricks and information, and they can create an amazing support system. Mods and custom content are at their peak. Talking about the Sims online community, one of the most fundamental parts of it are the mod creators. There's an astounding number of players that also spend their time creating mods and custom content for the game every day, fostering their own communities and improving on the game in many incredible ways. More gameplay, different items, new furniture, unique clothes and hairstyles, accessories and much, much more. There's a really vast mod community for this game and it's also varied, with some creating Maxis Match custom content that works with the game's art style and other making Alpha CC for a more realistic look, people creating realistic mods to enhance everyday life at Tetis, and other posting weird and very outside of the box mods. The game is at its peak for base game content. While in 2014 the base game for The Sims 4 was shipped to the public very bare-boned, throughout the 9 years of updates and development, the base game saw great additions. Pools, ghosts, toddlers, hot tubs, better skin tones, pronouns, the gender and sex update, better clothing, more hairstyles, and now infants have all been slowly added to the game to create a much fuller experience for first time players, especially now in 2023 than in any other year since the game's first launch. We are getting monthly updates. As was saying in a previous reason, the Sims 4 base game has been constantly getting updated in the years since it was released, with major elements that completely reshaped the gameplay and look of the game. But not only that, since the last year or so, the developers have been continuously updating the game with monthly updates and bug fixes in order to better the experience for everyone and add small drops of new content for all players to try. You don't need the best computer on the market to play. The Sims 4 is a pretty hefty game, but it is definitely not the most taxing on your computers and consoles. The minimal requirements set for the game mean that even older and non-gaming computers are able to run it pretty well. Sure, if you are playing with lots of mods and DLCs, it's definitely a better experience to play on a high-end machine, but if you're just starting out with the base game or aren't planning on getting many add-ons, you should be more than comfortable playing with the game on any PC you own. The new infant update. Just recently another major update was released for all players. A brand new life stage, the infants, have been added to The Sims 4 base game for everyone to try. And with this update, a new DLC has also been released, Growing Together, which has most players raving about its features and the way it changes the core gameplay for the game. So it's definitely the perfect time to jump into The Sims 4, play with the new infants and create the perfect families. And if you feel like spending a few dollars, you can even get the new DLC to experience this update to the fullest. Best representation in gaming. You might not be the biggest fan of The Sims 4, but the sheer amount of representation that is possible in the game is one of a kind. The better skin tone update has helped players to create Sims from any ethnicity and the base game has seen an increase in textured hairstyles for all your creative needs. 
Also, the game has a whole gender and sex customization tab, pride decoration and clothing, top surgery scar, gender inclusive clothing, and more recently, even the introduction of custom pronouns. And we also got a free base game update adding medical wearables just a few weeks ago. Finally, the game also sports head covering and some holiday items from around the world. Sure, it's definitely far from perfect and from being able to represent everyone, but there's definitely a lot more than any other game can offer. You can pick and choose the perfect DLCs for you. Many make fun of The Sims 4 for the overwhelming number of DLCs that have been released for it through the years since it was first released in 2014. But while it's true that the game can become very expensive if you plan to own every single pack, it's also a great way to allow players to pick and choose whichever of the DLCs they want. None of them are required to play the game to the fullest, but they do add some great bits of gameplay, new clothes and items and new places for your sims to visit. So take a look at the ever-expanding list of packs for the game and pick the ones that suit your playstyle the best, and try to decide what you want to see more in your game, snowboarding, going to university or both. The Sims 5 is still far from being ready. The final reason for you to start playing The Sims 4 is that, well, it's the latest in the series. Yes, it's been almost 10 years since it's released, but The Sims 4's successor is still far in development. We did see some snippets of information and footage that we got from the actual creators, but not much more news about the release date. So, instead of waiting for Project Rene to finally hit the shelves, just open up your favorite online game store and get yourself that free Sims 4 copy. No strings attached, you can always disinstall it when the new one comes out. So here are my reasons for you to start playing The Sims 4 today. And if you are already playing this game, what do you think about my list? Any key reasons that I've missed? Tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and bye bye!